from Made by Marley and today we are going to be transforming um, a couple of these planters um, that I got from Home Bargains, just the cheap and cheerful ones. So um, what you need for this is you need some um, paper clay, some moulds, uh, whatever choice you want to do. I'm doing a kind of strawberry thing, um, some chalk paint, some plaster of Paris, um, some whatever we need as we go along um, but I'm hoping that you enjoy this and stay tuned and um, we'll see how this all turns out. So what I've done is I've already cast these moulds out of paper clay and I've got two different sets sitting on some paper plates. I've got leaves on one and I've got strawberries on the other and there's the strawberries and I'm going to glue them onto the plastic planter with wood glue. Wood glue is as good as any what I've done is I've rubbed the planters down with some steel wool so they've got some teeth. So this is me beginning the process of sticking down the moulds. There was no rhyme or reason. I knew that I wanted the design sort of heavier at the top and thinner at the bottom. So I just started to put my strawberries and my leaves in a sort of kind of random pattern that I thought was, was what I liked. Obviously when you do it, you're free to put whatever you want on your platter. I only did the fronts on both sides with the moulds because I'm, these are going to be up against a wall. So that's what, what I did. So there they are, that's it glued on. And I continue really on with this um, to do both planters. Um, you can see what I'm doing. I'm making sure I'm applying plenty of glue. I'm applying glue to the piece. I'm applying glue to... Um, the back of the um, mould itself and these were quite soft moulds so I was being pretty careful with them I hadn't done them that long before I started filming so they weren't they hadn't really formed a sort of skin so I was being quite quite ginger with them and not making sure that I didn't squish them but obviously trying to make sure that um, everything was all nice and stuck down so that's what I did with the two planters Plaster of Paris, that's me showing you the tub, like a hand model, a uh, Rust-Oleum uh, chalk paint in antique colour. So a little bit of water in a plastic container and a nice squidgy brush. So now what I'm about to do is mix it all. So I've got my little bit of water and what I've done is I start with a little bit of plaster Paris first, mix it through and then a little bit more until it becomes quite thick. Not too thick and then a good dollop of white chalk paint. Now the reason why I'm putting plaster Paris into this, into the chalk paint, even though chalk paint will stick on plastic, is to, to give it much more, um, not only texture, but it, it, it really does adhere really, really well to plastic. It isn't coming off. So I'm, the, the first thing I do is I'm painting these planters with my base coat of white. So I'm going all the way around, um, making sure I get in between my moulds. Now I'm being really careful because remember my moulds are still quite soft and they've just been glued down. So um, I'm being quite careful with that. Um, I do both planters with the same uh, white mixture 
And then what I do is I let it dry. It's got to be dry, especially in between all those moulds and everything. Stick them out in the sun and let them dry. But the plaster of Paris will really keep everything really stuck to the planters. As you can see, I'm just, you know, telling everybody at this point, I'm doing under the rim of the plaster and pan pots and inside the rim. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. I've got some red and some brown um, and a little bit of ochre and I've mixed a sand, uh, sort of terracotta sort of sandstone colour. And what I'm doing is I'm applying it to the plant pot. Now, I did put some more plaster Paris in it because I want that texture. I want it to look like it's terracotta. So, or at least thicker than the plastic, put it that way. So, um, what I'm doing is I'm putting it on and I'm just kind of like, not, I'm not wiping it all back away. I'm not, I could do that, but I'm not. I'm just giving it a little bit of a wipe just to kind of wipe it back a little bit. And I go on and I do both planters with the same mixture. And then I let it completely dry again. So my apologies for this part of the video, I don't know why it's jumping, but it is. Um, what I did was, um, I then got some really watery, just a tiny amount of chalk paint and some water, and I put it over the plant pots, and I did the same technique as I did before. I put it on and I rubbed it, not all the way off again. I wanted that really white, sort of, almost, uh, you know, the white um, terracotta pots you get. Not, you know, that I've got the white, the kind of wash on them. So I just applied it with a thick brush again and I just dabbed it onto it and then wiped it back so that you could still see the terracotta through it and I made sure that I did inside all the edges and everything and I did both plant pots. Now here's the fun bit. What I did was I got some, I decided I wanted my strawberries to look a little bit just more kind of like raspberries, not quite strawberries, I'm not quite sure, but I didn't want it bright, bright red because the wash was so pale. So I've got some red um, in my palette on my paper plate here and a little bit of green. And what I'm doing is I'm almost using the paint like watercolours. I've got lots of water, you can't see it, it's off camera. I'm just dipping my brush in the paint and dipping my brush in the water 
to cover the moulds, making sure that I cover them all, making sure that I go around all their edges. Um, and then you'll see me going along and putting sort of darker highlights here and there where they need them. Painting in, there's a white flower in each one. Um, so painting in the flowers and um, doing all these different things just to finish that off. That's me doing the flower. And I just repeat the, the two pieces on both pots and the top bit along the rim. And I do the second pot as well. Um, and this is me just moving on to the second pot. Now, at this point in time, they're all done, they're all dry, and I'm putting a, a vinyl on it, um, not a stencil, a vinyl. Now, there was a few bits where, because the paint was so, um, I hadn't had time to cure, where it kind of took the, the paint off, but I quite liked it, so I did go back and scrape some bits um, around the edges and things, just to give it a little bit of kind of shabby and but I decided it on, pick your own, and I just picked a font that I liked and um, that I could use. And um, this is me literally just applying um, the stencil onto the plant pots. And you'll see me in a minute um, doing the other one. Um, and that, once, the, once they were done, uh, what I did was I made sure I gave them a coat of um, spray sealer. I let that dry and then I gave them another coat of spray sealer and I let that dry and then I just left them in the greenhouse to, to completely cure and they're still curing at the moment. Um, and once the paint's all dried and the plaster's a chance to settle and everything's all cured, they'll be ready just to use as planters. It won't matter if they get water on them, it, they can be outside, you can do whatever you want with them. But I, I hope you've enjoyed this video today. I'm sorry it was all so much of a voiceover. I had my little granddaughter, so it was uh, quite noisy in the background and I was doing a lot of singing and talking to her. But um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. And if you have enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe. I'd really like that. Or share it with somebody that you think might like it too. And uh, don't forget to push the bell notifications so you can see when I upload another video. Thank you very much.